Hey, hey, and welcome back to another learning Java 2D game programming video. So in our last video, we did some optimizations so that in our endless game mode, we can now continue for longer. I have this sort of cheat button so that I can quickly move on to the next levels. So should we go very far? It's still going to work quite fine. So that's all great. Now for this video, I was thinking that we're going to be looking at having a pseudo random random. So sort of a, a same random, if you will. I know that probably most of you are familiar with this. I'm just going to shut this down because I can't think with that music. Um, I know that probably a lot of you uh, know what this is already. You've played games sort of like Minecraft or other games like that. They have a seed, and if you enter the same seed as someone else, then it's going to generate the same structure. It's going to generate all the same things, and that is because it is pseudo-random. So given the same seed, the random object will give you the same random values every time. So that's what we're going to be trying out today. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to pop over to the state. And in here, I'm actually going to keep a random. Just like that. It's from the Java utils package. All right. So now we need to initialize it to something. I'm going to do it somewhere in here. So random is equal to a new random. And this object either takes nothing. And I think that will give it a random seed. Or you can give it a seed. So I'm just going to give it one, two, three, four, just to test it out. So first we need to use this wherever we do math random or collection shuffle currently. So wherever we do that, we change it to use this random object instead. And then it should be the same every time. All right. So let's try that. I'm just going to press control shift F. That way we search in the entire project. I'm going to say, whoop, not random, random. <laughs> so we are having, let's just do math.random to really see. All right, so here are the places. We have it in the map generator in a couple places. We have it in the game map. We have it in our sick cough, NPC, cough, particle. So. What I'm going to start by doing, I think, let's see what we have here. Here we have get random available position. And do we want to send a random value in or a random object into here? Maybe. I mean, we could. So you send the random object in that you have in your state. That way it doesn't matter what. Let's try it. And the way that we're doing this is like random dot next double. So next double is going to get work just like math random. It's going to give you a double between zero and one. All right. So now we need to also pass this in since we are calling on our own method. Let's see where else we have this. We have it in the map generator. And I don't know if we, when we generate this, should we also pass in the random? Maybe, or do we create one? Do we pass in the seed? Let's just pass in the random object for now, and we can change it if we feel like that's better. All right, so now we have the random object and we needed to get that into here. For example, this needs the random object. So I'm just going to say instead of math random, we're doing random dot next double. And let's see where else. It's a bit sad. Pass it in here. Where else did we have that in the map generator in this one? Generate patches. So 
just take that random in here as well. And here, say random dot next double. All right, so a couple more places are sad. All right, and up here, we want the random. All right, I think this class is done. Let's see what else we have. We have the sick, the cough, the MPC. So here, what we could do is when we create an MPC, instead of letting it decide its own speed, we could send that in from the outside. So I'm just going to say double speed. And I'll just cut this out. I'll say speed. So in our game state, it's probably going to be a bit sad now. So we're going to fix that. But let's just move through these first. Here, we're using math.random. But I'm actually going to not do anything about this. So this only uh, says where should these sort of cough particles move to. But it's only visual, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's not going to matter anything to our game. This, however, might. But the state has the random. So I want to do something like state get random uh, next double. So we just need to make a getter for the random object. So I'm just going to make that. Yes. Everybody get random. Some of you might remember. Most of you probably not. All right. So up here, it's sad. We need to give it the random for get random available position. All right. Checking again. Control Shift F. We weren't doing anything with the cough particle, but the cough, we might want to do something with that. And we have the state. So we can just do the same thing in here. State, get random, next, double. All right, so we have a few collections. Collection dot shuffle. Nope. Collections shuffle. All right, so here is when we're determining what visual your character should have. And I'm not going to worry about that right now. Here we are doing for the scenery. So this one we need to change. And let's see, that's reverse. So that wasn't interesting. This one we need to change. So this is where we generate the scenery objects. We already have the random, so that's great. And instead of shuffling it, let's not do that at all. Let's say matching sceneries, get, and random, next int. And I think int bound is the top. So. Uh, it will give you an integer from 0 to whatever the max is that you set in here. And we have the matching scenery's size. So hopefully this works. I don't know if we have to do anything with the indices, if maybe we have to actually take away one. We'll see. It's going to tell us if this is wrong. Let's just try this first. All right, so there are a couple of things that we need to update. So right here, initialize characters, just pass in our random object. Our new NPC now needs a speed. So what we had before was we had random next double, well, math.random, and then we set plus one. So let's try that again. This needs a random object. All right, so that was this. And then we had the endless game state now needs to get the random and right library. There we go. All right. And also here we generate in the UI button menu for our editor state. Let's also give that the state get random. All right. Let's see now. All right, so here you can see what this looks like. I'm just going to see. Yeah. Um, let's just redo that and see if we get the same map again. All right, so these three trees. So this all looks exactly the same. 
and I'm trying once again. All right, so three times will be enough. We have proven our point. So given the same seed, it's going to give you the exact same, um, the exact same maps every time. And also these NPCs start at the same places and they all should have the same sort of speed. What will differ though is their graphics. So we didn't do anything with that. I didn't feel like that's important. That's of course something that you can do if you want to, but at least they should start. But dum -da -dum -dum -dum. if we try that again and <laughs> ah, it doesn't understand that I'm closing it sometimes. I don't know why. Dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. All right. So this is what I was planning on doing this video. How long did that take? 10 minutes. Well, I guess sometimes it's good with a short video as well. So now you have a seed. And why is this fun? Well, why would, why would we want this? That is, now when we have an endless game mode, our scores are much better comparable because we have the same map and the same NPCs. They're sick in the same way. Everything is the same, right? So that means that you could, well, eventually, if we manage to get a way of inputting the seed in our game, uh, if we can write it in, then you could just send the same seed to your friend and then you can compete and compare your scores and it will have been completely equal. So that's, of course, why we want to do this. But... I feel like this is all for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Hey, Dwarf.